Hello y'all, this is the Red Flood mod for Hearts of Iron 4 set in a world where nobody won World War 1. We're going to play as a country in Africa, which is the Prussian Congo. It exists because a group of German Imperials in Africa and Imperial Loyalists who escaped Germany pulled their resources together and then entered the Belgian Congo, making it an unofficial Prussian colony with the goal of securing an area to support Prussia against Red Germany. Our army consists of eight units of free corps at the start. Let's check out our commanders. We have a single general and a single field marshal at the start. The country is distant from any sort of Prussian support, which makes it isolated in that aspect. And it also seems it doesn't like to regard its local host too highly and it will be moving toward consolidation in the region by taking down nearby nations. Forbidden love. Two boys were found kissing and holding hands. There has been no precedent of this in our legal code. We gotta choose guilty or not guilty. Let's go with not guilty. A soccer slash football stadium was opened up and we established our team, the Prussian Tigers. The Japanese Civil War is raging. It doesn't look too good for Imperial Japan who is still fighting the Beiyang government. Since this is a smaller country, let's talk about the historical background of some of the individuals in our government. Ernst Younger is a highly decorated Imperial German soldier, best known for his memoir Storm of Steel. Theodore von Hippel is best known for forming the Brandenburgers Commando Unit in World War II. Paul von Lutt-Tovorbeck is the Lion of Africa. Heinrich Kirchheim is just a German officer who participated in both world wars. And Julian Scherner was a SS and police leader in Poland after the occupation by Germany. So Ernst Junger, who's the president, he stays the leader, has to pick a prime minister between Brody or Hans Hudig here. Let's go with Louis Brody. Brody will create new Ascari units and create a welfare state, while Hudig, whose path we have closed it off since we picked his opposite, was very militaristic and violent by comparison. The Spanish Civil War has occurred. It looks like it would just be the Spanish Republic fighting against the Spanish state. Nearby, the newly established Ugandan Commune will be fading out of existence shortly. The jobless Progressive Party wins the American election, so we won't be seeing a very aggressive USA in this playthrough. The Kingdom of Italy in this mod really controls a lot of territory in Africa, even having land on the outskirts of balkanized Ethiopia. Ernst Younger replaces Louis Brody as head of government and we start the unification war focus. The Spanish Republic wins their civil war and the unification war focus opens another part of the tree and our first target will be the Congolese Republic. The war has begun and our enemy is choosing to be very aggressive in their assaults. The Congolese lines are broken in half. We just got to reach their capital, Leopoldville. Our foe has fallen and our demands are to just take everything. Kochek is not in charge of Russia, but this Russian empire is a war with quite a few people and the Anhui clique has war goals on a lot of countries. I'm not sure if Russia considered all their opponents in Central Asia joining the Third International. The story of Garangan is completed and off to another war, this time with the Muami. It looks like our divisions outnumber theirs, at the very least. Our army almost surrounds their capital, so we'll just slam everything we got into it. Even in Africa, the Belgians can avoid fighting the Germans. We're trading with Red Germany without any problems. They don't expect the thing. A local village creates a Prussian military rally, giving us some base stability. The Prussian Congo is attacking New Belgium. They also have a bit of land in the north we have to take. Yugoslavia declares war on Bulgaria, and after beating Italy, France gets all of their African holdings. Kivu is the last country in the Congo we're attacking and in preparation we are making tons of free corps divisions. The Russian Empire attacked the Baltic general government who joined the Third International and there is a naval invasion going on in Russia. Kill the protector is completed, let's declare the war on Kivu. We have taken their capital and we're winning solely, but bad news, they join the Third International. France declares war on Germany and it's not looking too pretty for the chance of survival for the Russian Empire. Since we're both now fighting the same group of nations, France invites us to the League Solar and we'll join. France is beating Red Germany with a big offensive because it seems most of their divisions are away fighting the Russian Empire. Kivu capitulates in the Caribbean Futurist they are fighting in Brazil and France is rapidly approaching the German capital Berlin. Prussia is going to send us some Lindleys since we'll accept. That's very kind of them. An army was sent to help our allies fighting in South America. The League Solar Forces are just outside Berlin but bad news. 
This is just phase one of the war and we gotta go to Russia to beat the German Socialist Republic. The jungles are really killing everyone involved in the battles in Brazil. Germany proper fail, now we wait for a successful naval invasion on the Baltic general government. In the Balkans, Montenegro declares war on Albania and the Bulgarian Republic beat Yugoslavia and currently they're attacking Greece. Montenegro beat Albania and now they're attacking Bulgaria who is busy fighting another country. Our ally drops a big invasion force on the Baltic but I'm not sure if they have a port yet. Bulgaria is no more. It was split up by Montenegro and Greece. Well, that piece didn't last long. Now they're fighting each other for control of the region. The French did take a port, but it doesn't seem like they're making much progress in the area. When I started this playthrough, I didn't expect to have 116 divisions consisting of 1.2 million soldiers. To get this war the third international to end quicker, I have a genius plan. We're going to justify a war goal on Poland. The tactic seems to be working. We're fighting the Intermarium and our allies are flooding in. The Anhui Click is at war with a lot of countries in China, but they have tons of manpower. By sacrificing four countries, we get a viable land route to Russia. We're zooming through enemy territory as quick as possible to get to the other nations in Central Asia we have to defeat. Despite the manpower bank, the Anhui Click just seems to have been overwhelmed and they look like they are dead. We're deep into enemy lands and so far there is no opposition waiting for us. The League Solar is beginning to drop troops into Brazil who will be the last member standing of the Third International. The East has been secure, it's only a matter of time the nation across the Atlantic will fall. Forgot one, we're going to invade Austria to get to Hungary. My previous statement on who was the last standing member of the Third International was incorrect. Everyone else has capitulated, but the Hungarians. They sent help to the Austrians, I think, so that's just gonna be two birds with one stone taken out. The treaty is here. France and Italy basically take everything except for Kivu, which we were able to get for ourselves. The treaty is finished. Let's look at what the results are. Russia is split between Italy and France as expected, so was Brazil, and all we got as a reward was the Congo Consolidated. Well, I say we got the better part of the deal, all hell to conquer, Reich. With the unification complete, we open another part of the focus tree, which will end with the destruction of the Kivu cult at the bottom. We can choose who we want as the leader of the Prussian Congo in this event. Let's have Ernst Junger stop the coup of both Brody and Huttig. That unlocked the branch in his tree, as you can see with the focuses here. The United Kingdom declared war on France, and they're on their own for that one. We're not joining in. We got what we wanted before. The United States joins the Commonwealth of Nations. That is the UK faction. The situation just looks hopeless for the other League Solar members. The focus tree for the Prussian Congo is completely Please, I'm going to stop the video here while we watch the world we built burn down around us. If you enjoyed the mod, make sure to check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I'll see y'all later. Have an awesome day. Bye.